We will be trying to not let them eat us. Greetings mortals, I am the Fallen Shogun and welcome to Empires of the Undergrowth. So I've played the first level in this thing, just to get accustomed to it, make it my tutorial as it were. But basically, I am an ant. I am an ant queen and an ant colony. It is, um, well, this is basically a uh, testing version of the game. Just basically for its Kickstarter, which was a while ago. It successfully passed, by the way. So this game is a, a beta and a demo of the game, just to get people and get their appetites wetted for it. But what you're meant to do is control your colony, take over the underground, and take over the surface world. Of course, the surface world will not be in this demo. It is two levels. This is the second one which I'll be trying to build up and show you. But yes, let's get my Black Ant Nursery. So you have Black Ants, which are your soldiers, and Worker Ants, which are your workers, obviously enough. So obviously you need your Black Ants to be your troops for when you fight. To do that, you need 10 food to place and 1 food to hatch. So we need to find more food. As you can see, every exclamation mark is, of course, an enemy. They will be trying to eat us. We will be trying to not let them eat us. We'll see how well we do. But yeah, I'm very careful about hitting a cavern like this and screwing ourselves over royally because I do not want to fight a massive horde of, you know, whatevers. There could be anything in there. It could be ants, could be scorpions, could be beetles. What do you find underground? Horrible stuff underground, isn't there? Ew. And again, I don't mind fighting a worm as a um, ant. They'd be quite okay. Let's do this. So I'm trying to build up my colony so it actually looks a bit like a colony. That is perfectly fine and perfectly doable. Of course I'll be needing more workers eventually, but right now we just need more people. Okay, let's go into here. We might connect to there. Okay, let's go into there and hope for the best. Okay, right clicking moves my black ants. As you can see, the soldiers are now moving where I told them to, while the workers gather more food for me. Hopefully we'll get some more ants. We need some more workers, we need some more ants. Let's build a worker thing over here. As you can see, I'm slowly modelling my world. There we go. Like I say, this game is very, very early. Very, very beta-y. Very, very demo -y. So you're seeing what the game could be. Like, what is this over here? I'm not even sure. Oh well. Okay, so we now have worker ants over here growing. We have food being dragged in. We have soldiers awakening to my orders. We're probably going to end up opening this area up next, I think. Let's get our food. Is our food arriving? Yeah, a little bit of food's arriving. We have nine workers, seven soldiers. Let's get some more worker ant nests. So we need to get as many worker ants as we possibly can, so we can get out the beginning. The soldiers, of course, will be needed for our frontline war against whatever. There could be beetles, there could be weevils, there could be centipedes, yeah, centipedes. We have our small army of ants, seven of them. There is two of whatever in here. We have nine of twelve workers. Let's get some more black ants. There we go. But either way, we're building! We're arming, and we are prepared for a world of anti-dominion. Cute little buggers, aren't they? Look at them. What was that? Okay, we're not in yet. Let's get another one of these here. We're going through. Prepare my own army. There we are, one of these. One of these. Oh god, they eat earwigs! Ew! Ew, earwigs! Okay, I lost a lot of soldiers there. We're down to four. But we have food and earwigs. Good! We can carry on building. Let's get more. But as you can see, we're still building up our army. Ants are awakening. Soldiers are arriving. This war for the undergrowth. And the underground will never be over. Can't get to here then. Okay, never mind. Can't get to here either, can we? No, looks like we're going to have to go through here and then around. Maybe it's cavern based. Okay. 
So we have three things over here, probably more earwigs or weevils or whatever the hell they are. So let's get ready to attack them. More food for the horde. The colony must grow. The music stopped. Oh well, music stopped, but we're going to carry on. So, this is going to be a one-off, one-shot, maybe even a Who's That Indie, but we're going to go with it. Going to record it, going to play it, obviously. And then I'm going to let you guys decide if I should buy the full game when it comes out. Of course, I may be getting it anyway. I'm not too sure. But if you guys like it, I'll obviously do more. But of course, the game may be out quite far in the future. I'm not quite sure how well it's done. I know it is on... You know, it did pass its Kickstarter and it is being worked on. There's things like Titans and Surface being worked on. But, of course, you won't see that in this version. You only get this level. We have this massive, massive horde of exclamation marks. God, there's a lot of exclamation marks. Okay, so... We're going to hope for the best. Build our horde, build our army. Okay, let's do this. We've got two here. Let's expand here. And here. Expand the nest. Of course you don't need to do this, you just put them all together. Right now there's literally no reasoning for any of it, but it looks good. And sometimes that's all the reasoning you need. Okay, let's go into the weevil nest. Or the earwig nest, I'm not entirely sure. I'm not a big expert on the insects. But all I know is we're going to go in and say hello. A bit worried about this here. This is sealed off, obviously. We can't get into them. It's like, ugh. Maybe I can. No, not connected. Okay, so the black ants are prepared. The red ants are getting ready to go there. We have 21 soldiers, 13 workers. Let's actually expand the worker thing. But we need food. So we're going in. We're going in. There we go. There, there are more of them. More weevil things. We're going to lose soldiers. But it's only one food per ant loss. So I don't mind losing all of ants for a lot more food. I think they even eat the bodies. Do they? I think they do. Either way, we're going to get the food. Pull back. Rearm. Regroup. Reload. Reevaluate our awesomeness. So can I get around here without destroying that? No, I can't. Okay. So next thing we're going to do is go and hit this. Which has a lot of exclamation marks, which may be our death, but we'll find out. So I've played Ant Sims and Ant games in the past. A couple of them I wish they'd work forever, but they failed as soon as we upgraded our operating system. But there's usually a lot of different types of ants. I've played 3D versions, sort of 2D levels like this. And I enjoy them. I love my Ant games. I like Ants. I don't like them, you know, all over my house, but I like ants. Okay, we now have 21 of them. We may keep expanding that as much as we can. We have plenty of workers gathering food. We may need more workers, actually. I still don't know what's in here. This could be interesting. Anyway, let's get some more worker ants out. You never know. You never, in fact, know. But we're doing it! We're building! We're loading! We're arming! We're entertaining ourselves! I hate myself. I hate myself for making that joke, I apologise. Couple of sandwiches for some reason, but we're gonna go with it. Could be because I tabbed out, who the hell knows? Pretty sure this is meant to be a uh, mini-map. But we'll see, we'll see. Wait, are you in combat? No, no, we have ants being hatched. Okay, let's break through. Let's break through. Let's expand this to get more soldiers out. What's in here? Oh, ants! Am I, how many, do I have more ants? I think I have more ants. We're losing ants. We're losing ants. Is this food or eggs? Okay, I've lost 12 ants. The enemy's dead, the enemy's dead. Is it? No, wait. No, the enemy's dead. Okay, so we're gonna eat these guys' babies. And we're hatching more, obviously. We need more troops. More meat for the grinder. Starship Troopers had it right the first time round. Need more fresh meat. So, ant hatching is, of course, automatic, as you may have noticed. As long as you have space, they do it. But yeah, 
But get in there. And because we still have them in chambers, it means our places still have defensive walls while I'm just walking from one place to another. Then it's actually going to become you. Oh dear god, ants. Ants. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ants. I think they just dug through that. Did they dig through that? Am I winning? Oh, I'm winning out of ants. I'm winning out of ants. There's two minutes. Pull back to here. Pull back to here. Oh god, I've lost. Too many ants. Too many ants. Too many ants. Okay, we're fighting in the confines. We're fighting in the confines. Suddenly, a lot of ants suddenly spawned. Okay, we have 20 guys. We have 20 ants holding the corridor. Are we winning? I think we're holding them. Okay, we held them. That was painful. That cavern suddenly opened up. Something can be heard near our queen. Pull back to the queen. Where are they coming from now? Either way, we're going to keep on going and expanding. Need more ants. As you can see, we're still expanding the soldiers. Princes are making their way to your queen. From where? Oh god! Weevils! Maybe. I still don't know what these things are. Might be earwigs. They've got, a, they've got an earwiggy profile. Either way, kill them! Okay. Okay, so they came from there. So we have more there, maybe more earwigs. Maybe even more earwigs there. Okay. So we're going to keep our people back at base just in case. You never know what's going to hit us. We're still expanding, getting more food. Okay, so we have that there. Let's expand this. You never know. Let's not go to there yet. Go to here. So we have a huge number of soldiers. Fair few workers. How do we get to this? Where's our next plan of attack? It seems to be here. Okay, let's have our troops here and dig through this area. See what we get. I'm going to keep on expanding our horde. Oh god, apparently we're attacking here instead. That was not me, that was the enemy. Luckily we have enough ants to hold it, I think. Now, I can't even tell what type of ants they are. I can hear more combat. Oh, I can hear hatching. That's what it is. I can hear hatching happening. Okay, we're holding. We're holding. Okay, we're held. Okay, we have even more food here. So we're going to keep on expanding the core. We have up to 40 ants we can use now. Let's just have them all hang out around here just in case. I don't know if there's like lights in the bloody caves for the ants. Let's just get a couple more of these. That, that, was a, that was a wall going down. Yeah, that was a wall going down. Okay, so we're crushing the ants completely. This is our colony. So I don't know if there's going to be like other colonies in the game. Like I know it's just like random ants in the world. Or there's actually another colony somewhere and I'm fighting them. Because of course, like I say, this is a demo level to test out combat, control and building. So yeah, it all seems to be working fine for me so far. Well, the sound makes a few weird noises every now and then. But we have plenty of soldiers on the way. We completely own the soldier front. In fact, so confident I about my soldier's abilities, I'm building more black ant nurseries here. In this section they evacuated. There we go. There's another black ant nursery there for even more infantry. Ants are known for their horde-like nature. Oh god. Oh, that's a queen. Okay, are we going to kill their queen before they kill our queen? Kill the queen. So apparently there are colonists. Oh god, the ants are pouring in from everywhere. Where did they come from? Oh god, there's ants everywhere! Okay, my ants are under a major attack. My ants are fighting off a colony. God. 
to attack from two different ways. There's a more spawning. I want my answer there. Okay. That was a major hit. Okay, we have ants attacking our queen. We have ants attacking the queen. We can't fall back until this force is dead. It's not dead. I think we're dead. I think we're dead. And we're back. That was dismal. I apologise. So we're going to try something different here. Let's actually build our worker nest over here. And try and do something differently. So that's where our workers are. Our soldiers are going to be frontlining it here. As you can see, I'm now building what I need and when I need it. I'm going to have our food storage over here. So, that's what we're going to do. Workers at the back. Soldiers over here. Soldiers are going to be the front line, so anything which has to kill them has to go through the soldier area. Of course, we need to gather the food, need to dig the area out. And hope for the best. So, our little guys are going to hope for the best. And they better bloody do well this time. I am not losing a second time the same one. That was entirely my fault. I overextended. I did not keep an eye on my supply lines and I got completely ambushed. My ants went for the queen and before they could get back another area had opened up and more ants began pouring through. Never overextend your supply lines guys, it will destroy you badly. But yeah, I did my best. Which was quite useless apparently. But I learnt. Did I? Yeah I learnt. We're going to start gathering food and building up our army again. Is that food there now it's picking up? Seems it. Interesting, okay, now we'll pick up the food. So we need to gather more food here, it's gonna go and hit this. From there. Gather as much food as humanly possible, or antily as possible. There we go. Eww, I don't like that bit there. So dig this area out, make this entirely my black ant lair. We need a lot more ants, an awful lot more ants. The sound issue is still with us, I actually did restart the game. It's still kind of there, not sure why, but there you go. So we need as many soldiers as possible at the beginning, obviously we don't have much food, but we need to have some kind of force to defend. Like someone's wipe out these and gather them for food. We also need to put down ant nests and also make sure I have enough food to spawn an ant. Like right now I can do that and that and it will give me some ants, but you know, I need some actual food to spawn the ant as well. How are we doing? Oh, 14, good, let's have another one. Okay, let's get a good army out first. Let's get another worker ant out too while we're at it. So we have seven, we'll have eight soon, good. Eight ants. Can we take out two earwigs? Let's find out. Okay, our little horde is going. There's no more. Is there spare food over here, actually? I'm going to build my little horde up top. I can't remember how it works. Okay, there we go. Got more food. The little horde is going to stay down here to wipe out these earwigs. We're going to get out the food. Up on numbers to maybe 10 or 11. Then I'll feel comfortable. Because right now I don't feel comfortable with the amount of ants I've got. Need at least 10 black ants. Our soldier force is not good. Workers will then come after we get our 10. Because we'll be needing rapid response, rapid growth and rapid everything. How are we doing, how are we doing, how are we doing? Perfect. But now we know what we're doing, it should be a lot faster. But yeah, we need to build up, keep our colony ready, keep choke points, like this. There we go. Okay, so we have that going. Let's get two more worker nests. There we go. Okay, we have nine out of eleven. Good. As soon as we get one more ant pop out, to be happy. There we go. Okay, breakthrough. 
As long as we have our infantry, we should be fine. Now we get involved in a ground war in China, unless you're ants. There's more ants in there than China. Is there? There should be. There should be a lot more ants in there than the Chinese, actually. There should be billions. Okay, get ready. Get ready, get ready. We're going through. Let's get another black ant nurse it. What we need right now is to go through and hopefully destroy them. We need to destroy them bad and we need to destroy them hard. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, you little sods. Come on. Come on. Yeah, oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, they're fighting. Let's get some more black ant nests. There we go. Kill the Ewigs. Kill the Ewigs. That's fine. We now own that food. Pull the ants back. Okay, let's get some more workers out and running. As you can see, the black ant nest is actually heavily growing right now. There we go. That's what we need right now. The black ant nest needs to be heavily fortified and armed. Well, fortified and armed for ants, obviously. I mean, there's not much we can do fortification-wise, but you know. There we go, there we go, there we go. So you answer the problem. It makes sense you all have to come from one way and just dig around with this tunnel over here, maybe. Like that. That way they don't have superior numbers. Okay, that works. We're going to use tactics. We only open up chambers when we need chambers. In fact, this could be a chamber, but we could also dig through here. So, we'll stop that for now. Dig into here. Okay, get soldiers to go through there, get ready. As you can see, we're already upping our numbers significantly. There we go, 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 go. Kill them all, get the food. Okay, they're all dead, they're all dead. Pull back into here. So now we have to wipe out the ants, which are a lot harder. Because of their sheer numbers. As you can see, we're trying to keep it so that we actually do have a one-tile-wide tunnel. The tunnels are where the ants excel at combat. Lock it off so sheer numbers can't defend against them. Make sure you still have enough so that you can pull your numbers against the enemy. That's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. And so we have enough ants right now to do serious damage, so we're going to stop pulling down. Turn this into a secondary chamber for black ants. Okay, this looks like they're stealing food off the dead as well. That's perfectly fine. We have 12 workers. We need more workers. Come on. Give us more food. We need more workers. There we go. We need a fair bit of food to get some workers up and running. Okay, there we go. Now we get ready for a war. There's only what, like maybe 12 in there, that's fine. That's good for now, we're going to hit that hard and take the food. The Queen is fine, we have worker ants next to her. We should be okay this time around. Maybe, we'll find out. My tactics are different, my thinking is sound. My madness begins. It's a shame the sound keeps breaking. There we go. Okay, we have a huge amount more workers. Perfect. Got 24 of 25 soldiers. We've still got food being poured in. There we go. Get ready. There we go. There we go. There we go. Go, 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 go. As you can see, the ants have not used their superior numbers. Ours can't, but theirs can't, but we have more behind them. It does mean, however, on a defensive line, we have a greater chance of getting troops from the rear hatched and into the battle. That's what we're aiming for. So 
So yeah, that's what we're aiming for. Let's turn this into a food area. Dig that bit there. This is a small food cache. Obviously now we've opened that up, we're going to have problems with the natives. But yeah, we have a small food cache here. Let's get a load more black ants out and ready. There we go, as you can see we have black ants here. Just going to dig out here and then along here too. Get a few more black ants into this nest and we'll start expanding into a secondary nest area for them. Probably here actually, kind of useful. So yeah, we're just getting all of our black ants out and ready. Our soldiers must watch. Here we go. They're moving in. The first years have opened up. Are we holding? We might be holding. I think they outnumber us though. Okay, we're going to pull back to here. We've got plenty of food. Our black ants will keep on hatching. Okay, we've lost that. So we're going to be pulling back to the secondary nest. There we go, as you can see, we're hatching as fast as we can. We have soldiers. There we go. There we go. They're moving in, moving in. Okay, so we have plenty of food to survive this assault. There we go. So we survived that. We have this nest ready. We can now have another area here. And you guys will be pulled back to here, because I'm pretty sure these guys attacked last time. Or those guys. Either way, you're being pulled back to the main nest. Okay, we're putting in as much food as we possibly can. Maybe grain? Maybe the dead? Who knows? Okay, which way are they coming from? Up north. Okay, move, 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 move. There we go. The ant horde is moving. So we've got a secondary black ant nest here. You should give me. I can I can actually hear tunneling. I can physically hear tunneling. Okay. Okay, we can't make any more nests then because I can hear tunneling, which means we are going to get hit. Which means I need as many ants as possible guarding the entrance. Okay, 33. Once we get more food in, we'll be fine. But right now, we need to get, obviously, the ants ready. We need some more worker ants, to be fair. How are we doing? That's still up in. But okay, here we go. They broke through. They broke through. I heard that. But they break through. But did they break through? There you go. They broke through there. Okay, my horde is moving in. I have the numbers to hold them. So what we need now is more worker ants. There we go. More workers to get the food in faster. Okay, I'm gonna pull back to here. Guard the secondary black ant area. So I'm not being ambushed again by queens and stuff. So the more workers we have, obviously the more food you can put in quickly. That still had nothing done with it. Okay, the answer in the move. There we go. Okay, just dig through here and here and here. We'll expand this nest a bit more. Get a few more workers. Soldiers are fine for now. We're holding. Good, good, good. So tactics are now working. There we go, another four of them. Lost a lot of soldiers, but we're still in this battle. Put them back to the secondary nest. So some ant colonies in real life obviously have multiple queens. Not a lot of them, but some different ant species can do that. Obviously this is not one of them. Okay, so we're holding this secondary area. Get a couple more worker areas up and running. Here they come! Hold them while we gather food. Hold them while we gather food.
That was a secondary breakthrough, I heard that. Okay, here comes that lot, we can hold here. We have food coming in. We should be able to hold them. Oh god, here come more. We have the food, we can hold. Yeah, we do have the food, we can hold this area here. We're going to lose some workarounds, that's fine. We have plenty of spare food for soldiers. And we have soldiers spawning in straight away. Good! Can we hold? Can we hold? I think we're holding. I think we've held. More ants are pouring to the front line from their spawns. Who is that? Are we holding? We held! Good! I did not get overexerted this time around. We have plenty of food as well. We have one big massive nest here. Another massive nest there. And a couple of smaller bunkers. Okay. Kill the queen. Oh no, pull back, pull back, pull back. Whatever swords we have left, pull back. Kill the queen, but pull back. Okay, so food obviously went completely down because we're spawning new ants. Either them or them are going to pour out. Either way, I need some troops. I've got a few ants defending. No royal guard, no defenders, no specialists, just soldiers. Okay. Let's get them all here. Okay, I'm pulling back from the front line, obviously. Let's get another worker out while I'm at it. Let's get three more. I can't tell where the, where the tunneling's coming from. Ooh! That noise actually scared me. That noise was very, very loud in my ears. Oh god, two sets, two sets, two sets. Okay. Here come the ants. There we go, there we go, there we go. Kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them, kill them. These things are vicious but small in number. Okay, so we've cleared out both of those nests, so we're going to go back to the front line. Now our only problem is obviously other ant nests. Let's dig this area out here and expand this nest. So what our next target will be is these, wherever they come from. Hmm. So as you can tell we have a large number of ants and defensive areas. We need to keep on our expansion and keep on pushing. We've got to kill them all. We're not letting these guys live. Oh never mind, we've actually they've already pushed. So we're going to probably turn this area... Oh, we've actually put a hatch area here as well. So this will be our new front line, apparently. Not my choice, but I accidentally did it. We've got plenty of spare food because we're eating the dead. Okay, pull back to here. Also, they're eating the queen ant by the looks of it. So we've got food over here. That area is now cleared off. Okay, still here digging. Got another black ant colony nest here. As long as we have more soldier ants being made, we have up to 56 right now. We're finally getting somewhere. So it's going to be a longer episode than usual, unless I split it into two. I might, I might not. It depends if it takes longer than an hour. If it takes less time than 50 minutes, we're obviously going to just continue as it as is, and you'll see my failure and this. There we go. More ants are at it. Here they come. Here comes the horde. Well, it's not a horde. It's, it's a little bit of a horde. We'll hold them in the... T oh, there's an ant. What are these? Ants are pouring in from the surface. Okay, if we take this, I'm pretty certain this will suddenly open. So what we need right now is a guarantee of troops pouring in afterwards. But we need to push to here. Okay, we're going to push with those soldiers and hopefully more troops will be pouring in from the back. That's what we're going for. The food will keep on making more troops pour to the front line. 
So even if we do get ambushed, we have troops pouring in who will be able to slow them down long enough that the front line can come back. Kill the Queen. Here they come. Yeah, here they come. I thought so. Luckily we have up to 74 ants we can now be using. You've made short work of that Formica Fusca colony. Well done. We are Kickstarter. Oh, we won. Well, we're going to wipe out these ants anyway. Finish this map off. So, that's all we have for the game so far. As you can see, there's a lot more ants suddenly. Let's pull back to here. But yeah. Basically, this is the game. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than here. This is just an early access Kickstarter version. But we're going to try and hold and finish off these ants. We're going to live or die with these ants dying. There we go. We're going to hold them. We're going to hold them. More and more answer. Look at this. More answer points to the front line. So the former Fusca colony is dead. We killed both the queens. Now it's a wipe out the soldiers. And hopefully in the full game there'll be more of this. But I'm enjoying this immensely. Even if I did technically fail. I killed them though. I killed everything. I think we're winning. I think we're outnumbering them by a few million to one. Yeah, we are. Good. But anyway, it's obviously the ending part because there's nothing else left after this and my numbers are blotting out the undergrowth. But either way, I have been the Fallen Shogun. If you enjoy as always, like, comment, favourite, share and subscribe. If you comment, I will reply. Tell me what you think. Do you like this game? Would you like to see me do more of this game when it comes out? Would you like me to buy this game and hope there's more levels? Or would you like to see it in the future series? Of course, if you like, it keeps me more interested. I can't say we'll carry on forever because there's no more after this at the moment in time. But anyway, if you subscribe, you do become part of the Fallen. You do know when new videos and series come out. And at the end of the last battle, I will see you in Valhalla. Ciao for now, people. Bye-bye. Creepy. Kill it. We're under fire and need immediate support. Go you guys go help them out. Receiving. Clear out. Hit it. Kill them all. Kill them all. Oh, well, we're losing. Do you ask or ask or ask? Just like I pronounce his name as Kyriel. I pronounce it as asshole. Kyriel. This is not good. He's attacking my I'm army. Running away. <laughs> I remember how this worked last time.